Hey everybody, in this week's video we're out doing some fishing out at Pigeon Lake, Alberta. Stick around for this week's outdoor adventure. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get fishing. All right, my friends, it's August 2024. Me and my family are doing some camping out at Pigeon Lake uh, here in central Alberta. Uh, we're planning on spending three nights. So we actually have Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night out here. Um, as often, I will be commuting back to work on Friday, but uh, we plan on doing some fishing. So we're gonna go do some fishing here, uh, hopefully every single day, <laughs> but we'll see how the weather holds up and we're gonna be trying our luck off the shore and then uh, also trying our hand at uh, doing some trolling or some jigging here for walleye um, on my Seahawk Intex 4 inflatable boat. So stick with us here for this week's outdoor adventure. Hey everybody, it's a night one, Thursday night, um, just down here at the beach area with uh, with the kiddos and we're just fishing here offshore. It's already after sundown, it's about 9.30, sundown was 9.15, so we'll fish here for about half an hour or so before she gets dark. Um, my youngest is casting out a soft plastic and then me and my oldest are using some pickerel rigs, so. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're not gonna be able to fish too long. It'd be nice to be able to catch one tonight and uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. On Friday night with the water looking calm, we decided to head out with the boat. We watched some other fishermen pull up fish after fish as they jigged in a walleye hole. We started to lose some hope when... We got a fighter here. That's okay. Good job. Got a wally. Nice. Unfortunately, all we had to show for our Friday night fishing trip was this walleye that my son's friend caught. All right, everybody. Well, I guess it's, uh, what day is it? Saturday night. We're out here on the Seahawk, Pigeon Lake. We fished a little bit today just off the shore. Didn't have a lot of luck. We had a bunch of kids and a bunch of lines in the water almost all day and no one got anything off the shore. Wanted to try to get out in the boat early in the morning, but uh, it was rainy. So making a crack at it here on Saturday night. We'll see how it goes. Water's a little bit choppier than I'd like. I don't know if you guys can see that around us. We're trying to jig, but it makes it sort of hard with just how much we're moving. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's been pretty wavy all day though, so we'll check in with you later. Well, we got one little pike almost to the boat, but it spat out, so I didn't get any video of it. I was wearing the hat cam, but I did not have it on, but uh, one pike tonight to show for it, so that's, uh, that's Saturday, and uh, we'll see if we can maybe get out tomorrow, depending on how it goes, but uh, we did all right out in here today. All right, everybody. Well, I think that that's going to wrap up this week's episode here of DC Outdoors. Um, unfortunately, this weekend, we were only able to get those two fish to the boat. The one there that my son's friend caught uh, with that walleye 
and uh, I cut a little pike out on Saturday night but like I said I didn't have my hat cam on so I didn't get any footage of it but uh, I jigged up one there in the weed bed a little northern pike so just those two to show for the weekend um, as I mentioned there a second ago we did not get out Sunday morning fishing unfortunately we stayed up and watched this really cool meteor shower and we were up until about one in the morning um, and then with having to pack out and clean up camp and check out and all that good stuff uh, we just didn't have enough time on Sunday morning to get out but uh, nonetheless, had a pretty good trip out there. I certainly wish we could have spent some more time on the water, but uh, that is what it is. Um, but uh, like I said, it's been fun to, to kind of get out, take the boys out, and uh, do a little bit of fishing. So if you made it this far, I want to thank you once again for watching. Um, and if for some crazy reason, again, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.